Police in North Carolina released dramatic video of a deadly encounter with a kidnapping suspect. This happened last month in Raleigh. The video shows the armed suspect firing at police as he runs from a vehicle into the woods. Kenneth Craig is here with the details. Kenneth, good morning. Good morning to you, Dana. Police released multiple angles of the incident, but perhaps the easiest way to see exactly what happened in the suspect's final moments would have been with the body camera on the officer at the center of this case. But it wasn't on. The dash cam footage begins at the tail end of a high-speed car chase involving the kidnapping suspect, 23-year-old Hugo Cortez Ramirez. After his vehicle was disabled by police, Cortez Ramirez jumps out of the driver's side and sprints into nearby woods, wielding a handgun in his right hand. At least four muzzle flashes can be seen as Cortez Ramirez exchanges fire with police. Raleigh Police Sergeant R.L. Warner can be seen firing back. Body cameras from other officers show deputies take cover near the suspect's vehicle. They were told the kidnapping victim was still inside. The suspect fires one more shot before more deputies arrive and rescue the victim from the vehicle. The manhunt for Cortez Ramirez continued into the daylight hours. Police say they later found Cortez Ramirez's body in the woods with a pistol in his hand. The officer at the center of that case, Sergeant Warner, was wearing his body camera as all of that unfolded, but police say the battery had died before it happened. He's currently on administrative duty, and the state is investigating. As for that victim, victim apparently physically okay, obviously a lot of emotional scars. Okay, Kenneth, thank you very much.